Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here. Welcome back to another LEGO Ideas video. And today we're going to be looking at set number 21318, the Treehouse, which is LEGO Ideas 26th LEGO set. And I don't really know, it's, it's a really beautiful looking build. Let me give you some information about it first. It has 3,036 pieces. It'll retail for 199 USD and 26.99 Canadian and this will be available starting everywhere on August 1st. Now, first off, my first response to looking at this is that it looks absolutely beautiful. I think that the tree build itself is just really really cool and the detail and the textures on the tree itself as well as on the actual like rooms that they have at the top looks really really awesome. I love that a lot. My only complaints looking at it from far away is that the tree itself feels like it goes a little too skinny at the top and that there's not enough leaves included. I know that you'll see here in this next picture that there's actually just piles of leaves. But to me, it, I don't think that the amount of leaves matches the thickness of the trunk of the tree. There's a cool aerial shot. I don't know, you can really see through it and I think that it needs to be able to uh, cover it, everything else up a bit more, but uh, I don't know. That's just that's just my personal opinion. Speaking of the leaves and all the other plants in this, LEGO last year first announced that every single plant build will actually be using a new plant synthetic that they've been making. So everything there, it's, it's actually not made out of plastic. It's this hybrid of plastic and plants, so that's really cool. So they're trying to be environmentally conscious, and that's pretty cool. I guess we'll start from the bottom and then work our way up to the top. I really like the little riverside build there and they've got a cute little campfire there with the wands. I think that that's really funny. Um, you do get four minifigures. Right there is the female one. I'm guessing it's like the mum. And then you've got the sun there and to the right you've got this little picnic area which is pretty cool. And I like the little candle design there. I like that there's one going and that there's one melted. That's actually, that looks really, really awesome. And then as you continue around, there's a staircase going up with the little girl there. You've got a little lantern hanging. That's pretty cool. And then, oh, I, the detail here is just really awesome. You've got a little birdhouse in the tree with a little bird from the Disney minifigure series there uh, pecking, which is pretty cute. And then you've got a log, I guess, like from a broken tree branch. To the left, you've got this weird stick thing, but you've got a pulley system. Uh, to the left of that branch and you can just bring up a crate from the bottom level all the way up to the top So that's that's pretty cool pretty neat feature the actual walkway itself looks really cool I like that a lot you can see some of the uses there That's like some mixel joints as you've got one building there with the dad in front of and then as you continue up You've got another one with a telescope outside and I think the lantern pieces are using the black panther head for some reason in gunmetal gray That's strange but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the inside of the set. This one is actually my favorite one because you've got a lot of cool little adventure stuff and one really cool Easter egg to another set. Anyway, so it's, it's, you've got a bedroom here and then yeah, it's hard to see everything, but you've got a letter, you've got a hat hanging from like a coat rack, um, you've also got a compass and you've got a, a brush and something else, I don't know what that is. And then to the right there, you have a ship uh, actually on a stand. And I think that this is supposed to be a reference, of course, to the ship in the bottle set. So I think that that's really cool. It could just be because, you know, they're, they're out there adventuring and stuff. And people have ships in a bottle. But I'm going to say that that's a reference <laughs> to the other set. And just the little details in here looks really cool. Binoculars, I think. I don't know if that's gold or light yellow. If that's light yellow, I think that's the first time we've ever gotten it in that color. So that's pretty cool. But that's it for that. And into the other room, I think that this is supposed to be the bathroom. You've got a little toilet and a shower, which looks really cool. And you've also just got a sink and some other drawers and different things. So I had to go elsewhere besides the actual press release for the set to find pictures of the third room. Anyways, it's actually a bedroom for the two kids. You've got a bunk bed, you've got a bunch of different other little sh shells and different things, but I think that the most interesting part, again, is that there's a book that goes on the top part of the bed, and inside that is a once upon a time one by two tile. 
So this, to me, is meant to be a reference to the pop-up book, uh, The Once Upon a Brick. So that's really, really awesome. A couple of other things that they didn't show off in the actual uh, press release is there's a swing at the bottom, which looks really, really cute, and it's a nice little design. You've also got this 2x2 two two slope piece with a print on it that says, Build Your Dreams KF. It's actually an inspirational quote from Kevin Feaser who is the actual original designer of the set. Uh, so the guy who submitted it. So that's really cool. And yeah, I don't have too much more to say about this set. I think that it looks really nice for the price. Uh, if you have an interest in Stranger Things, I would 100% go with that uh, because you're getting more figures. You're getting some really, really cool prints and things on the actual figures themselves. And uh, I don't know, it's just the... the the idea behind that I think is much cooler than this. I do like that you can sub out the leaves and different things uh, to make it autumn. If they included a winter one, maybe I'd be more on board. I just think that this this, this is the biggest LEGO idea set yet. I just I have nowhere to put this thing and I just don't really have an interest in it to be quite frank. But what do you guys think of it? I know that 10,000 people voted for it, so I want to hear your opinions in the comments down below. Let me know, am I being too negative about it? I mean, it's a cool looking set, I just think that it's it's really, really too big and it doesn't go with anything else, um, in my opinion. But I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.